Welcome back, listeners. I'm Robin Black, and this is It's All About Healing Podcast. Today, I have with me a special guest, Ms. Kimmy. She is the founder of Flight of Style. Kimmy, tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you, Robin. And also, hello, everyone tuning in, too. So my name is Kimmy, and I found the Flight of Style, which is basically an image and style consultancy platform. So what I do, I do differently by helping individuals, clients, friends, strangers turn friends for their personal and professional branding. So that's basically what what I do. I coach on appearance, behavior, communicate, communication, and the way how you can get that upgrade to life. So with the upgrade to life, would you say that you definitely help others heal with if they're feeling self-conscious about themselves or they're feeling kind of down like they don't I don't know how to dress or whatever the case may be. So you help with things like that as well? Yeah, I do. Aside from that, I help with, you know, the overall appearance and how you can, you know, get get back on track and get back on track and how to boost out, how to boost a confident self. So if you're feeling too, especially if you're feeling like, you know, we're feeling down, we feel ugly at times, we try to feel, we try to bring out that kind of confidence. But the thing that I usually like want to tell tell everyone is you boost. I'm going to help you boost your confidence, but you're going to remain the same. It's just mm-hmm. going to be the same authentic self. Most people would like to think that, oh, she's, in a, she's an image consultant and it's just a total change of everything that will go with your values, with, you know, the whole package, you know, changes onto your face, you know, with, with, don't really have anything it just depends on them i want people to see that they can be themselves their authentic version just a little bit of a of a a little bit of an upgrade that will help them boost their confidence enough for them to you know face this crazy world yes so what's like the first thing that they that you work on with them to to boost that confidence the first thing Perhaps would be like, um, I'm going to say it's going to have to be conversation because I want to get to know what part, what aspects in their kind of life that they need help with. It could either be for, you know, in the professional side, I get clients who want to ask help for what to wear to a certain event, what to dress, what to what to say, they're doing it right. On the personal side, I get clients too who ask help with their, well, for say, let's the last client i had would be um a mother trying to help her a lot with her daughter with her daughter um i got clients asking them to help me to help them with um a wedding speech they're gonna be a best man (laughs) like that how are they going to you know it's their first time and they they don't want to make a fool of themselves but still keeping it keeping it real and you know authentic enough that it's not scripted so much so I do communication a lot with them because I want to know what part, which parts that they want, they, they need help with. And perhaps I go with appearance too. I go with appearance. I do, I, I do the overall, overall check. Okay. I give out recommendations from what they currently have. So I give out recommendations and hey, you know, you, it's nice that you have that, but you can try this. Um, I do everything. Um, I do help them with appearance and three things. Could be, it would be their daily routine, what they do, um, a skincare routine, and also the way and also what kind of clothes they have right now. What if it's you know helping them? And then I go on to go on to style. So basically, it's more on the appearance side. So yeah. I give out. I give out a program to help them. It's like a checklist guide for them to remind them. Okay. And what about the body positivity, especially for women? If you have women who feel that they're too skinny or women that they feel they're plus size and they don't, they don't feel that they look well, like how do you help those type of women? All right. Thank you. And then, you know, that's a really interesting question to you that I love to share that goes into the behavioral aspect. So just for everyone to know, I'm not a life coach. I'm more mm-hmm. of an image coach, but I learned these things. I learned to allow women first, allow women or men or everyone to 
first let them know how what they are and who they are like you know i always want to tell them you know you're the world is always changing and constant we don't adjust ourselves to the world <laughs> rather oh sorry pardon me that the world doesn't adjust to us we mm -hmm. do adjust ourselves to the world so in terms of in terms of that i help them i have them make and make them realize so that you're gonna have to be confident first with yourself it's always mm -hmm. about boosting out the kind of confidence so i don't teach values i don't teach you what to think mm -hmm. what to think what to do i don't even i don't even tell my clients to gain to gain weight or even lose weight because for me that's it doesn't go with my branding it's go it you have to be authentic enough so when i see client when i see clients i don't i i i hope i hope that i could help and inspire them that you know everyone in this world is all feeling the same thing you can be you can you can either be you know we are we're all going to have to go with so many problems so the least of your worries would usually be more on more on on the way how we perceive others of us so it's right. always have to be it's always the mindset it's about recreating that mindset that what i do is for you to realize an authentic version mm -hmm. that's basically how i would approach the kind of clients who come up to me with these kinds of with these kinds of you know situations that they think and then so like if they're just I'm trying to figure out like how to boost their confidence. So if they say, Hey, I just don't feel that I look good in any type of color minus black. Like, what do you, like, how do you kind of encourage them to, well, maybe you should start wearing things like this or like, what are, what are your suggestions in, from that standpoint? Okay. So, so usually what, what I would do for what I would do for clients with that one, I would, well, basically I would ask them, could you give me three choices though? And I can okay. I can see that. So I need to have choices so I can be able to help. So usually I just use I recommend this and I need to know what's this for? Uh what kind of event are we going to? Because I got clients too who ask me, hey, does this look does this look cute? So uh -huh. we wanna know. Um, some of them usually tell me, I love clothes, I love to shop, I wanna do I wanna buy so many of the clothes. Okay, but it do we need it? Do we need uh -huh. it now? Or do we want it? I mean, we're all guilty for that. There are yeah. times like, you know, we 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 want to see like, oh, this looks cute. Is it gonna be a one time one time thing? So in the kind of package that I in the kind of package or service that I give, I help I help, you know, clients do capsule wardrobing. So capsule wardrobing would be, you know, to get a get a few pieces that Get a few pieces you need for in case of emergencies, you know, certain events, formal wear, casual and lounge wear, and something that's uniquely your style. You find it, I let them find their style first. And if I also welcome and help them to, with them giving me choices, giving me choices, I recommend, like, mm -hmm. and it, I recommend, I recommend, I basically, I study their whole wardrobe style too. Oh, wow. Okay. And so the flight of style, how did you come across that name? All right. Um, well, the flight of style would be because um, I used to be a flight attendant. I was in the airline industry. Uh -huh. that, was a good, that was a good run in the airline industry. And well, basically I left my, I left my job as a flight attendant because I wanted to do something better, I think that um, there's a there's a whole bigger world out there than just you know flying around. And I dedicated so much time and committed time to help others in terms of you know boosting their image, uh, personality development, all the behavior and communication. And I I gave birth to the flight of style from the things all I learned from being a flight attendant. And that's the stigma where everyone thinks, right? Like a lot of people, when I when I wasn't a flight attendant before, I would always look look up at flight attendants being, you know, you, they move with grace. They're so elegant. They're, mm -hmm. you know, they all they all walk together, and then it's just a different kind of vibe. Like, oh, okay, she's like, it's a lady to a woman. Yeah. So that kind of transformation. 
So I use the flight of style because I, well, technically from being in the airline, I still think that there is still a kind of, it's a flight. When we do, when we do um, image consultancy or image, like, you know, tr a transformation that you guys want, it's like a flight and it goes through certain stages. Could, yeah. I'm not saying, I, I know, I just want it to be a really good flight with no <laughs> other things, but technically we are, I am going to help you get to that destination. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what I conceptualize. I like that. I like that a lot because when I, you see flight attendants, you, you do feel that they they just move so gracefully. The way that they're just their their uniforms just I, I love it. The male the the men and the women as well. I like that a lot. So um, so you basically are helping with event planning for what they should wear to certain events, not like just their everyday life. But your clients are mainly based off of the events. Oh, okay. all right. So those would be for um, those would be for the kind of um, I do mentoring. So mm -hmm. for my mentoring programs, I just it's a tar it's more targeted. So I have them, I have them, or they ask me for a kind of service to help them with a certain with a certain kind of with a certain kind of you know project. It's like a project kind of base, but mm -hmm. I I push for the the week trans uh, the, a transformational guide. Because there would be some who would ask me, I need help. I need you to help me. I think I need to, well, usually the kind of comments I'd get, I need a total transformation and I need help with clothes. Like, okay. you know, my, you know, my corporate, my, my corporate life, it takes a lot. Or my husband wants to see me dress appropriately. <laughs> you know, those kinds, I get, I get yeah. so you know with, with with that kind so um technically i want them to i want them to feel confident everyone everyone wants to feel confident with whatever they wear but there would really be instances where there are some not to wear there are some like you know things that you shouldn't you shouldn't wear in certain occasions so i give out more on advices with what they can wear on their everyday okay Okay. And then, so when clients get ready to book you, what's like the first step? Like, what are they booking you for? Is it just like a general consult first and then you go into something else or walk us through that? All right. Okay. Um, so basically, basically when clients, I do get, I do get consultations. Like they want to, I, I want to know first, how am I going to help them? What part mm -hmm. of life do you, do I need? Like that's, that's something that I can contribute. I can contribute to, you know, because basically we just want to get an ongoing and like, okay, which part do you need help with? And then I recommend, okay, I'm gonna be here with you. I'm gonna help you. I, I'm gonna be in this flight with you. You know, mm -hmm. I'm help you with the three thing with with the with the three things that we that you want targeted. So we after that consultation, that's where that's where we start. We go straight in. We go straight oh. in. I get to know you. I get to know parts of your parts of your style, how you think. You know, I just give out like, you know, I want to gauge for that kind of person. And mm -hmm. then I go in with giving them a check the checklist guide. I call it yeah. like a check. It's like I know most of the most of the terms that I use would be airline terms. Uh -huh. But having that checklist guide, you know, a to-do list helps you a lot with everything. And it just just to remind you and remind you, you know, that, okay, don't forget this. You just take it off and then let's see. So I have a three-step checklist guide. I target appearance first because that's mm -hmm. for, that for me. That's going to be the first thing that people will see, whether it's a physical or a virtual interaction. Mm -hmm. um, even if we don't speak, it's going to be yeah. the first thing. It's a, it's my first impressions. Okay. First impressions, right? I mean, it takes like almost approximately like seven seconds so every for, mm -hmm. for everyone's information there it takes like seven seconds for people to get a general idea or knowledge of you and that right. is without speaking mm -hmm. so yeah i go in that and then i give out i give out my eight look uh, an eight look wardrobe look that's not the capsule wardrobing i do and then after that i i'm gonna go follow up on them and see okay how are we doing what are the small wins we've done and yeah 
basically that's what that's the first thing that I give out. And then if they want to book me more to help them, you know, for with the behavior side and the communication side, and I go on and for, for it to help them just to satisfy and make them feel confident. I like that. And do you also help like accessorize when they're on a consultation with you? Yeah, definitely. Like everything that not just so in terms of in terms of everything in appearance it's with the way you the way you wear what accessories that you could that that, that you'd want to do that, that you'd want to do for a certain look mm -hmm. the kind of makeup the kind of hairstyle you know the kind something that will make you you know somewhat you know dress appropriately i know present rather present appropriately uh -huh. so just want to share i mean i had a client i had a client recently who he needed help because he was gonna meet his girlfriend's parents for the first time uh -huh. and apparently he wanted to ask for help because he was gonna propose as well oh yeah <laughs> he was gonna propose and uh, i think it went well i think i think it it did and then and you know it, it's something that i'd love to help because i didn't know i didn't yeah. know that, you know he just literally he just basically reached out reached out on me and just said you know i feel like you're the kind of person that you that can help me with this it's something it's something it might sound silly but i need help i'm gonna propose to my girlfriend <laughs> and then you know it's, it's amazing you know how the world you know ev everyone's feeling this and it's it's a big thing for him and then first thing i said i told him you know i really appreciate you i hope your your girlfriend says yes because you're putting effort into yes. this putting effort into her and for the family you're you know you're yeah. basically proposing to the family too yeah it's, it's such a nice change i mean oh like i said like, i i was like telling me you know god bless you i hope that there's so many men out there men yes. like you, right yes. like, that is just so sweet i love hearing that like that she definitely has a good one because a lot of it probably would not have thought about that so that is amazing right. and then he just, it was the first time he was gonna meet um, with the girlfriend's the girlfriend's family so didn't really ask into the details but okay i went straight on and i told and i and i told him okay let, let's do it and then he did yeah. he popped the question i wasn't able to get back with him though still but perhaps yeah. I, I hope it's a definite yes though yeah I, I told him to i told him to i'm so i'm honored to be part of it <laughs> yeah. of a life changing and and yeah. that's what that's what that's what i go back to you know mm -hmm. i go back to the kind of work you know in image image coaching not many people can really see how what, what we do so that's why i give out personal and professional mm -hmm. branding because i'd love to help you with perhaps ev everything you know everything that you're dealing with in life you know so much that we see so many things in social media now how it's a it's a different direct representation of i'm so, i want to be like her i want to be like this so it really has a lot of it has it goes a lot you know i i flew people to so many places in their lives and i'm you know i'm honored for that i like that i like that a lot so what would you say has been like your your wildest or craziest request that kind of even threw you for a loop because they requested it? Perhaps it's going to be, it's going to be, well, every, for me, I, I, I want to really point out and see that, you know, not every, that, that, okay, it's a challenge, but mm -hmm. it's always a, there's always a solution to it, right? Yeah. But in terms of results, I always tell, I always tell my clients that, the work that i put in should also be the work you should put out too for yourself right. even right. though and the challenge is i i do things online you know i can't be i can't be with you like 24 7 so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to double time on the work too like mentoring the challenge that i had perhaps the recent one would be having to help my friend's daughter mm -hmm. in terms so they have you know she's She's a teenager, you know, so there's a lot of things going on and their love-hate relationship with the mother. Yeah. Um, 
maybe if I would if I would if I would share the viewers, it's been really bad to the point that it's becoming like a physical kind of fight where she refuses to listen to yeah. kind so and this and and her daughter when I when I try to talk to her, she just re, she just resents me and she just tells me, I don't know why I'm gonna talk to you. You're 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 a friend of my mom. And I know what you're trying to do to me. You know, typical kind of, you know, the rebel teen. So I try to, I try to like, you know, listen. I try to be her friend. Mm -hmm. I try to, I want to see what it's like to feel that age. And you know, um, in teenagers, she's 15. In teenagers now, it's so different because she, the main thing, the main, the main thing I keep her hearing is what her friends think about her. Yeah. What, and if she can't get what she wants. You know, and also the childhood trauma that she's kind of having. So mm -hmm. how I deal with that and still dealing right now, she's, she's still an active client. Yeah. And I deal with that is I make her see another side of the world outside their family. Yeah. Um, hopefully you'll be 18, my dear. You'll be living alone. You have the, yeah. the You're, you're going to choose. You're going to have, you're going to live in with someone. You're going to have, you're going to have a future husband. You are become let let's become a woman yeah let's, let me help you here don't see me as a teacher because you know when she see you know my mom told me that you're a teacher and i had to ask my friend why did you tell her that <laughs> why did you tell her that yeah. because i can't handle her anymore and it, you know and i it, it's it's nice though that my friends asking for my help because i i'm a different i'm a family member mm -hmm. but i want to i want to bring out a different kind of unbiased perspective so that's what i do i try to groom her and shape her to to see things differently yeah so yeah, i like that challenge i have yes definitely At teenagers i that was almost enough said so you said she's a teenager i'm like oh i already get it <laughs> <laughs> my daughter's a teenager right. too it's very difficult <laughs> right right but you know i take it as a i take it as a challenge i don't have kids myself yet mm -hmm. i don't have kids myself but Whenever I I love hanging out with you know I love hanging out with teens because mm -hmm. I, I want to get to know their kind of generation. I've handled I've handled all you know um, for people in their forties and their fifties who still want you know a kind of image transformation. That's yeah. really cute though. But I'm I love it when when the younger generation comes up to me because it means that they they want to they want to they want to break away from you know the the modern like the stigma the kind of you know the kind of tiktok bits that they see that you know violates violates yeah. their violates you know their kind of values and the way they think mm -hmm. so having to deal with the younger generation or teens it's a challenge for me but i'm re i re i'm loving the challenge yeah. I, I don't know why a lot of mothers would be like you can have her yeah, <laughs> <Have her. laughs> like yeah. on her for a day so yeah that's yeah. Basically, yeah that's good that you're motivated by challenges so that's very good if there was one piece of information or a suggestion or recommendation that you could suggest what would it be hmm. i would perhaps would the kind of the kind of information yeah, that's a good question though i do have a lot though and i i build my content on this well perhaps it's, it's going to be that the most expensive investment that you could do would really have to be for your would be yourself it's what i mentioned a while ago the world will never adjust to to how we think how we see and how we how we value ourselves mm -hmm. it, Almost everyone wouldn't care, but yeah. once we invest so much on ourselves, we are constantly going to meet people from from this day, from the day we're even born, until the last day of the last day in, of our point in life. We're constantly going to meet people. It's the way how we present ourselves positively. Yeah. Perhaps maybe the the one thing, the one thing I know I've said so many things. I'm going to say it. You know, wherever you go. Whoever you meet, a, a kind of stranger or a client or everything, is just to be kind. Yeah. Spread kindness. Spread kindness and everything. And you know, it helps you. 
even when people are not and cannot be kind. Yes. You know, just move and just we're just gonna have to move and pay it forward. It it's a different kind of because I always wanna see when you be kind in any kind of situation, you know, blessings will always come back. And it's so it, it's an investment. You invest in your own mind and appearance. Thank you so much. Thank you. And for anyone who wanted to get in contact with you, what's the best way for them to reach you? So the best way that they could reach me is they could do, they could email me at yourflightstory at gmail.com or basically you can subscribe into the Styles Consult. I do Styles, I'm, I work under the Styles Consult too with Jen, you know, your the last bit on image yes. and style coaching. I'm also with the Association of Image Consultants International with the Philippine Chapter 2 and perhaps interact with me, comment with me in my Instagram, which is the Flight of Style. I have so many chat I have so many channels though and I just want people to enjoy the kind of content I passionately create for for everyone. No problem. Thank you so much for that. And I'll, every website that you have or anything that you have mentioned is also going to be in the show notes as well. So they can definitely go there. Is there anything that maybe I didn't cover that you wanted to mention? Well, basically, I think we've we've covered almost everything. It was a really a, it was a really great opportunity. Maybe I just wanted to make it. I just wanted to make this really you know smooth in a way that. You know, having a kind of image, having the kind of this kind of image, image co coaching would not only just transform your life for others, it's just going to give you a deep motivational transformation to yourself. And, you know, we want to put out, maybe just want to say to everyone too that, you know, you're going to have to keep, you're going to, you're going to have to keep adjusting to this crazy, crazy world and i and we're gonna have to invest in our own selves especially the way we appear behave and the way we communicate it's still the most beautiful the most beautiful part of yourself would always be the way you present yourself with kindness so that's yeah. probably the last thing i'm just gonna say robin i appreciate i appreciate you know being here and being here and it's it's all about healing and you know yes. it's all about healing we we we're, we're going to have to we're going to have to look back you know we're going to have to see the reason behind things and it's always with beauty maybe maybe just something i kind of thought about too a while ago like why is it like you know when people usually when they want to heal yeah. they come from a they come from a breakup or from a terrible situation mm -hmm. majority of people do a transformation they they do their hair yeah. they they do a transformation and and it's it's part of healing it yeah. is a lot of people may not see that but it's it's all about healing like you're it's technically it's the and basically it's the name of your podcast and image yeah. transformation is a healing and it's it's something that you value you value yourself so yeah. That's I like I that so much. <laughs> right? I mean, I we've all been through that. I've been through that too. I had to, you know, I had long hair. I had to snip it short, you know, just mm -hmm. to make me feel happy to, you, yeah. you know, make me feel better for myself and definitely not for others. <laughs> yes. I, I love that. The image transformation is part of healing. I love that. Thank you so much, Kimmy. Oh, thank you to Robin for, you know, for allowing me to to show what I can do for for you and for everyone tuning in, especially, you know, I hope that not just to get clients or not, you can always, you know, try. I hope that I, I said things in a different kind of approach where you could see it in a different view. So image yes. is all about healing. healing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. And again, everyone, thank you again. I'm Robin Black, and this is It's All About Healing Podcast. Everyone